Hello kids, we're already in our English 4, quarter 4, week 1, with the title, Writing a Short Story, Fiction and Nonfiction with Its Complete Elements. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to write a short story, fiction and nonfiction with its complete elements. Let's have a drill! Identify the element of each statement. Write if it is fiction or non-fiction. 1. The purpose is to entertain. 2. The correct answer is... 2. Read in any order. The correct answer is 3. It involves real people, animals, places, and events. The correct answer is 4. Examples are almanac, history, and biographies. The correct answer is 5. It has beginning, middle, and end of the story. The correct answer is Let's have a review. Match column A with column B. Write the letter of the correct answers on your paper. You may pause this video to answer this review. Here are the answers. Did you get them all correct? The four oxen and the lion. A lion used to prowl about a field in which four oxen used to dwell. Many a time, he tried to attack them. But whenever he came near, they turned their tails to one another, so that, whichever way he approached them, he was met by the horns of one of them. At last, however, they fell a quarreling among themselves, and each went to off to pasture alone in a separate corner of the field. Then the lion attacked them one by one and soon made an end of all four. Let's have a comprehension checkup. What is the title of the short story? Who are the characters in the story? Where did the story happen? Why couldn't the lion attack the four oxen? Why did the lion become successful finally? What do you call this kind of story? What do you call a story whose characters are animals? Here are the answers. Do you want to know how to write a short story? But first, let me tell you the difference between the fiction and non-fiction stories. Fiction are short stories and novels that describe imaginary events and people. The purpose of this kind of story is to entertain the readers, while the nonfiction stories, they came from real events and facts. They also came from true stories about real people, places, and experiences. The purpose of the nonfiction stories is to inform the reader. Now let me tell you how to write a fictional short story. Are you ready? One. Find with a simple idea. Determine the genre. It could be fantasy, mystery, or science fiction. Then, determine the mood that you want the readers to feel while reading your story. Do you want them to be happy, sad, or scared? 2. Create your character and setting. 
a character is a person, animal, being, creature, or thing in a story. Mostly, stories have two kinds of character roles. One is the protagonist or the main character of the story, and the second one is the antagonist or the villain of the story. A setting is where the story takes place. It helps the reader picture where the characters live and the location of the events. It could be on the mountains, cities, or even under the sea. You can also tell when the story happened. It could be in the morning, night, winter, spring, summer, or fall. 3. Write the beginning of the story. This is where you're going to introduce the characters and setting of the story. And how did the story start? 4. Write the middle of the story. This is where you're going to tell the problem or the conflict of the story. And you can also tell the other details of the story. 5. Write the end of the story. This is where you're going to tell how the character solved the problem or the solution. And this is where you're going to tell how did the story end. Do you want it to be a happy ending story or a sad ending? Or do you want the reader to have their own ending of the story? So let us summarize on how you're going to write a fictional story. 1. Find with a simple idea. 2. Create your character and setting. 3. Write the beginning of the story. 4. Write the middle of the story. And 5. Write the end of the story. Now let me tell you on how to write a non-fictional short story. 1. Choose your topic. It could be a history of a place, a biography of a well-known person like a president or a hero, an autobiography or facts about animals or things. 2. Get the facts. You can get facts from the interview, print and non-print materials, pictures, diaries, or videos. 3. Write the title. The title tells the reader what the whole text will be about. For example, dolphins. 4. Summarize the event. You can write them in chronological or write the main topic and supporting details. 5. Write the conclusion. In the conclusion, it is where to tie things up, summarize what has been said, and reinforce the main idea. It also leaves the readers thinking or wondering. Let us summarize on how to write a non-fictional short story. 1. Choose your topic. 2. Get the facts. 3. Write the title. 4. Summarize the events. 5. Write the conclusion. Now let us see if you learned something from our lesson. Let's have practice number 1. Read the short story, then complete its elements. The Heart and the Hunter The heart was once drinking from a pool. He admired the noble figure he made there. Ah, said he. Where can you see such noble horns as these, with such antlers? I wish I had legs worthier to bear such a noble crown. It is a pity they are so slim and slight. At that moment, a hunter approached and sent an arrow whistling after him. Away bounded the heart, and soon, by the aid of his nimble legs, was nearly out of sight of the hunter. But not noticing where he was going, he passed under some trees with branches growing low down in which his antlers were caught, so that the hunter had time to come up. Alas, alas, cried the heart, we often despise what is most useful to us. 1. What is the title of the story? A. The Heart B. The Hunter C. The Heart and the Hunter Two. 
Who are the characters in the story? A. The heart B. The hunter C. The heart and the hunter Three, what is the setting of the story? A. In the pool B. In the forest C. In the bridge Four, what is the conflict of the story? A. A hunter approached and sent an arrow whistling after the heart B. The heart was once drinking in the pool. C. The heart was able to escape the hunter. 5. What is the solution of the story? A. A hunter approached and sent an arrow whistling after the heart. B. The heart was once drinking in the pool. C. The heart was able to escape the hunter. 6. What is the theme of the story? A. Do not be fooled by others. B. We often despise what is most useful to us. C. Be humble. 2. Read the passage and pay attention to the main ideas and important details about the topic. Did you know that the eyes of the colossal squid are larger than any other creature on earth? The colossal squid is the largest type of squid. Not many of these creatures have been observed. This is what makes them mysterious. Colossal squid are found in colder waters near Antarctica and New Zealand. These waters are very remote or far away. This means humans rarely see the squid. They live in deeper waters. These creatures are difficult to observe. It is not easy to observe the colossal squid in its natural setting. The colossal squid lives in a cold and deep habitat. Even with the advanced technology, it is a difficult task to learn about these creatures. This type of squid almost never comes to the surface of the ocean. Human interaction has been very limited. Scientists do not know much about the mysterious colossal squid. Did you understand the topic? Now write the title, main idea, the three supporting details, and the conclusion. You may pause this video to answer this activity. Let's answer. The title is The Colossal Squid. The main topic is the colossal squid is the largest type of squid. The first supporting detail is the colossal squid are found in colder waters near Antarctica and New Zealand. The second supporting detail is they live in deeper waters. Third supporting detail is these creatures are difficult to observe. The conclusion of this topic is the scientists do not know much about the mysterious colossal squid. Did you get them all correct? Now let's have an evaluation. Read the story and write its element on the format given. The hare and the tortoise. One day in the forest, the hare saw a tortoise walking slowly with a heavy shell on his back. The hare was very proud of himself, and he asked the tortoise, Shall we have a race? The tortoise agreed. They started the running race. The hare ran very fast, but the tortoise walked very slowly. The proud hare rested under the tree and soon slept off. But the tortoise walked slowly and steadily and reached the goal. At last, the tortoise won the race. Write the title, the setting, characters, problem, reaction, resolution, and theme. Here are the answers.
comment down below if you get them all correct. Thank you for watching. See you next time.